Hello guys, how's it going? So today in this quick tutorial I just want to show you a quick tip about Qt and more specifically about how to compile uh, the same project against different versions of Qt or actually not to specifically link against different versions but how to make it work between, between different versions. So I actually work in between uh, Fedora and Ubuntu, okay? And on Ubuntu, I'm running Qt5, and on Fedora, Qt4. So there are some specific things on Qt4 and Qt5 which are not the same. And I'm going to show you how I got around that. So those are not all the differences, actually, just one. But it's a good example to show you how you can work around the other differences, for example, okay? So if uh, we show the project here, uh, we, s we see, and if I try to build, we see I have a problem Qt GUI application, no such file directory that's why, the, the reason why for that is because uh, Q, Q application has been moved from Qt GUI to Qt widgets in Qt5 so we need to handle that and the system working with Git, I was pushing stuff on on the on the server, pulling on Fedora and I was not able to compile and vice versa so that's how I got around that. Okay, so uh, Qt allows you some macro and variables for you to quickly check uh, the version you are running on, and based on that, make some decisions. So, for example, in the Qt Pro, what you can do to check your version is to use this macro, which is called greater then and then check the variable Qt, you see major version and check that against 5 okay so if that returned true then you can do inside the parentheses whatever you want so for example you can say Qt plus equal uh, widgets that's what you need to find Q application okay so let's try to let's save and build and we still have all the same problem, okay? Q application such a file directory because we included the mod the module, but is not uh, is not uh, linked or imported, so included. Sorry, in the in the, our file. So if we go into the main, actually in the, actually in the main, we see that our Qt creator cannot find Q application, okay? So here again, and in some way to check the version and based on that do some different stuff okay so first of all I need to include include oops, Q global because this is initializing uh, the the global variable for us that we are going to use so what I'm going to, to do is run a, mac a preprocessor macro saying okay if Qt version is less of Qt version check version 5 than two parameter zero zero when I'm going which I'm not going to explain in the detail you can just check the doc documentation from that okay so basically here I'm just going to check against the version if it's uh, less than 5 do this so basically I need to include the old line I had Qt GUI uh, Q application and then I'm going to do an else and basically what I'm going to do instead if uh, is greater than 4 so which means 5 I'm going to include Qt widgets oops and Q application okay so now you can see my version, of, uh, sorry, my Qt creator, which is based on Qt5, can find the correct include header and include the correct header. Sorry, and now we're just going to finish our declaration, our macro. Sorry. So now let's try to build, and everything works fine. And if I try to run the application, everything is with the. Uh, sorry. Is the widget I'm working on? So simple widget and it's working fine so now the, la the only things is left for me is to 
commit the changes and I'm good to compile also on Q on against QT4 okay so that's it for today guys I hope it helps see ya in the next tutorial bye bye